Arizona education is top of mind for so many people, and tonight we're getting exclusive insight into the race for superintendent of public instruction. ABC 15's Danielle Lerner watching this one closely, and Danielle, this could all come down to the wire. Yeah, Steve, the increased focus on education and the Red for Ed movement really putting extra attention on the office this year compared to previous elections. And with early voting already underway, new numbers show this is still anyone's race. This is one to watch. Mike Noble with OH Predictive Insights giving us an exclusive look at how the candidates for superintendent of public instruction stack up. Right now, Republican Frank Riggs has 44% of the vote, up 3% from last month, compared to Democrat Kathy Hoffman's 39%. The poll's margin of error is 4%. But with 17% of voters still undecided, that lead could change. The reason why he only saw a slight bump from the last poll, why he actually even went up, was only due to Trump approvals moving up. So I think that race is, is close and uh, that one, I think there could be an upset. Hoffman only recently jumped into politics, but the speech therapist has years of experience inside the classroom and her focus includes addressing the teacher shortage, supporting special education and improving graduation rates. We are the experts of education. We, it's the educators who truly know what the complexities of our public school system from the ground up. Riggs is an army veteran a former police officer, California congressman, and school board president. His focus includes closing the achievement gap, revamping the school finance system, and taking the lead on school security. Using the office as a bully pulpit to advocate for parents, students, educators, the business community, and taxpayers in general, those are my strong suits. Now, something that both candidates agree on is they're both against Prop 305, which would extend the Empowerment Scholarship Accounts Program, also known as the School Voucher Program.